Well, many people are planning to come to Central Texas for next April's total eclipse, including eclipse chasers. That's people who trek across the globe and spend thousands of dollars to witness the rare events. KSAN senior science reporter Eric Henriksen sat down with two of the world's best. Eclipse chasing isn't for everyone. You've got to drink the Kool-Aid, so to speak, to really understand what a total eclipse is all about. Fred Espinak first took a sip in 1970. I managed to convince my parents to let me uh, borrow the family car and drive 600 miles to get down into the eclipse path. Since then, he's witnessed 50 eclipses with 30 total eclipses. I've been to every continent, including Antarctica, for a total eclipse of the sun. So has Paul D. Maley. I was born the day after a, to a total eclipse of the sun. Paul has recorded more sightings than any other eclipse chaser in the world. If you add all the eclipses, it, it comes up to 82. Each year, the two men lead expeditions to witness the celestial events. It's just something that attracts people. We have individuals who, once they've seen one, they are absolutely booked on it. And it's very dramatic. Chills run down your spine, hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You get a visceral reaction that something with nature has terribly gone amok. <laughs> In 1983, we had a guy that was so overcome, he was hyperventilating. Planning for an expedition starts years in advance by... Looking at years of data, weather data, which, you know, is never almost a guarantee, but it's, it gives you a clue. Even with data, it's not an exact science. I chartered a ship in December of 2021 to go to Antarctica. We were completely clouded out. For the April 8th eclipse crossing Texas, both men are looking south. We're bringing a group of about 80 to 100 people down to Mexico, to Mazatlan. And I've chartered a ship to go into the Pacific Ocean. The trips aren't cheap. A room in Mexico starts at $2,500. On the ship, it's somewhere between eight and 15000 Why drop the down payment of a home to see an eclipse when it's happening in our own backyard? It's not that Texas has bad weather. It's just a little less likely to have good weather than Mexico. For the people who do stay in Texas, there are going to be traffic jams. With so many complications, understanding the obsession may be hard. The words fall short to actually experiencing the total eclipse. You'll, you'll find out. Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. I'm so glad it's happening here so we don't have to go far. Yeah. Head out to and Fredericksburg. It's not one of those rainy April days. I know.